Back when Rome was considered one of the substantial powers amongst the world, its Julian calendar system created in 46 BC recognized New Year's to be celebrated on March 25th in relation to the Annunciation, also known as Lady Day. This was based upon their Catholicism ideology. Eventually, discrepancies began to occur in this grand old empire, and in 285 AD, the Roman Empire split into a western and eastern section due to religious differences and trying to regulate who's in power. Now, right now, we're around like 300... 400 AD, somewhere around there. And to get back on track with this whole New Year's thing, I'm going to have to jump like a thousand years. So I'm going to give you like a brief history lesson in between to make it all make sense. So after they split the Roman Empire, whatever the case may be, um, these barbarian white people from Northern Europe started migrating down South and started like spreading out in Europe and shit like that. So they like ransacked both the Roman Empires. But the... Eastern Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, they could hold up. You feel what I'm saying? They didn't get defeated. But the Western Roman Empire, yeah, they didn't stand a chance. They was done by like 476. So like they got taken over by barbarian, visgols, you know what I'm saying, Germanic uh, white people from up north and shit. So at the like the Northern barbarian white people, whatever the case may be, set up shop in Western Europe and shit like that, uh, they said they around there for like, like 200 years, give or take, 200, 300 years. Then the Moors come over, you know what I'm saying? And then they take over Spain, you feel what I'm saying? And then they influence, you know, the rest of Western Europe and shit like that. Then Spain gets its independence back and the rest of Western Europe is doing this Renaissance thing. Further along in history, Pope Gregory the Thirteenth has the Julian calendar revised in 1582 because the Julian calendar doesn't accurately represent leap years, thus creating the Gregorian calendar, also known as the Christian calendar. Now here's where it gets weird, okay? On September 9th, 1752, the British Empire finally accepts and adopts this Gregorian calendar, but they had been using the Julian calendar this whole time, which they had revised from the leap years, so when they had adopted it, they were 11 days off. So they just said, fuck it, and just took 11 days off of the year. Just like said, fuck it. We just gonna throw away them 11 days and we right on track with it. <laughs> let, let me reiterate in case you didn't understand what I just said. If, if you were British or under British control in 1752, September 3rd through September 13th never existed. Just like fuck them days. So I don't know how they do birthdays or whatever the fuck case may be that happened in between that time span. But from September 3rd, 1752 through September 13th, 1752, they just said, fuck it. So whatever happened then in between that frame never existed to British history american history just like fuck it i say that to say that like america didn't gain its independence until 1777 and regardless of that uh black people were slaves here since the 1600s and before that i think it was like since the 1500s it was already slaves here and shit so could you imagine like one day somebody telling you like yeah just like what do you do that day like that week, but those 11 days, 10 days, whatever, what do you do? What do you tell people? Like, when, like, like when they actually say that shit, like, when they put the decree out, like, yeah, by the way, those days don't exist. Like, what, what do you, I don't know. I did read something about, like, they did have a war, a revolt or something. It was like the 11-day war or something like that. Something, I ain't really read into it because I ain't give that much of a fuck. But they, if y'all give a fuck, y'all can look into that. It, that is a thing. They did start revolting because they took their fucking days away. All in all to say, uh, the calendar they got changed from the Ju Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar. And with the switch, made New Year's on January because white people wanted Easter to line up correctly with the New Year and stuff. So because of the leap years and shit, and they was late on the calculations... And they started making calendars and shit. When they put their calendar out, they wanted the shit to line up with Easter and Lady Day. So they made New Year's January 1st according to the leap years that they had miscalculated when they made the first calendar. Happy New Year! <laughs>